to something that I saw on the channel wall earlier today. And uh, it's posted under the video, uh, Lonely Single Men Wonder Why There Is No One to Love Me. It's a video I did last year responding to a bunch of guys whining on the internet about why no woman wants them. But anyway, that's, you know, that's irrelevant. But what she said is what I wanted to focus on. And uh, she, her, her belief was that women need to withhold any kind of physical intimacies from men if they want marriage. She says it's our power over them and the way that we control them. It seems like men have no self-control nor discipline in that way. So I'm looking at this and I'm like, okay, so first of all, young lady, and anyone who else thinks this, you control nobody but yourself. Unless you are with a man who has the same religious and moral principles, and I mean the exact same, with no clause, with no outs, no, well, it was an accident, I'm going to go pray about it and, you know, ask God for forgiveness. None of that, those kind of loopholes and caveats and escape clauses for himself and his behavior. And unless you have a guy like that and you are exactly the same way yourself, then this, her statement is a recipe for failure. Now, I've been living a long time. I have yet to meet a man like what she's talking about. And I've been all over the world. Okay, those, I mean, I'm not saying there aren't some, but where are they? I haven't ever met one. They are going to, you know, jump on anything that will hold still long enough. And it doesn't matter how many times they go to church. It doesn't matter how many times they invoke the name of God, Jesus, Allah, and everybody else. It doesn't matter. So, and she verifies that by her second, you know, her third sentence, rather, where she says, you know, it seems like men have no self-control nor discipline. Okay, so acknowledging that fact, you're acknowledging that fact. Why do you think that you not doing something is going to give you any kind of power over someone who has, as you, by your own statement, no self-control and no discipline? How does that work? You're saying two different things. And it may sound like it's making sense to you, but it doesn't. It makes zero sense. Because you can't control somebody who has no, uh, no self-control and no discipline. You can't, they can't control themselves and neither can you. The only person that you can control is yourself. So if you, as a woman, see no value in being intimate with that particular fella, then I advise you not to do it. If you think that he's going to hurt you in some way, that he is too high risk, that is emotionally risky, is physically risky, is, you know, any kind of thing where you don't feel 100% comfortable and at ease, that's something then that you should not do. You don't do it to try to keep a man. You don't do it to try to keep a relationship. You don't do it to try to, to make him happy. You are supposed to be in a relationship to make sure that you're happy. And if at any time that you're not, then you leave that relationship. But I want to caution you from thinking that, this is a guaranteed way to get a guy to marry you or to to weed out the ones that won't. A man loves you or he doesn't. It's just that simple. And even if he loves you, there's still no guarantee, as many, many women can testify to and men as well. They say they love their wives, but they still cheat on them anyway. They love their girlfriends. They still cheat on them anyway. And whether they cheat with a paid professional or someone they met on a website or someone they met it with at work and it wasn't, you know, like completely 
it didn't start off with any kind of intent and purpose to do anything, but it ended that way. Whether it happened when you've been dating for six months, married for six years, living together for six years, or married for 60 years, it's still the same. You don't control anybody. Now, if you can get with a man and you can, you know, set up the parameters under which you will operate and he agrees to do that same thing, then fine. That Then that'll, you know, that'll be okay. But I don't want you to ever think that you have some kind of magical power to make a man, you know, to evoke some kind of behaviors and stuff from a guy by withholding like that. He will dump you and he will go and find somebody else who will. Even if he does decide to play your game with you, that's not to say that he's not going to be tipping around behind your back. So, I mean, if he loves you and he wants to be with you, he will, whether you sleep with him or not. Okay? Like, like I said, if you really want to find, you know, operate under this kind of scheme, then you have to take the time to find a guy who has the exact same moral stance and religious principles that you do and not only has them but lives his life under them. Now, if you can combine all of that, good luck. Because as we know, most black men are not up in church. They say they have some belief, loose belief in God and all of this kind of stuff. But their behavior does not demonstrate that. So you're trying to operate your life under those kind of biblical principles. And these guys just give lip service to it. But they don't have any intention of living that by that code. What are you supposed to do? I'm very interested to figure that, find that out. So I, you know, I welcome your comments under this video. You certainly can disagree with me if you want to. We'll be having a little debate about it. But I'm just saying, this is, this is never going to work. You don't control anybody by doing anything, withholding anything, for trying to force your, their hand into anything. You don't do that to a man. He's going to pay you back. You're going to get it in the end some kind of way because all that kind of stuff does is build up resentment. You do it if you want to and not if you please, but don't ever do anything or not do anything with the intent of thinking you're going to control somebody else and make them do what you want them to do. Okay, that's a very foolish, foolish thought pattern. Deb Cooper, survivingdating.com. Visit me on youtube.com, Deb Jerism, and become a subscriber. I'll talk to you next time.